The Magic of Triangles by the Greeks. The Greeks came up with all these neat relationships involving triangles. I'm going to discuss some of them. First of all, they noticed that there was a relationship between how long this side was, and if we are building a ramp or some kind of a incline, it has to be supported. And so you would mark off a certain place, and perhaps you would build a foundation work in here, and you'd have to know how far you'd have to build your foundation work to, grow, to get your ramp supported at a particular angle. You'd need to measure these in case you were building another one on the other side to build some kind of a, an edifice. And if you've ever seen Greek architecture, you'll notice that it contains a lot of these triangular shapes and pillars and things of that night. So... Uh, they noticed that when they measured these, when they went out to make a, a little bit of a little Greek little uh, place, they, they would have some distance here, and we'll call this the horizontal or the X aspect of this triangle. And when they uh, wanted to get that certain angle, when they measured it out and laid it out, the vertical component, and let's call that the Y component, <coughs> this distance and then they they wanted to cut this to the right distance and they would build it ahead of time and cut it but after a while they noticed that there was a relationship between the three of them that we'll call this the R and that they noticed that R was equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared and that's called the Pythagorean theorem so if you were to start with a triangle, and uh, I think the traditional form that this equation is drawn in is r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. And if you knew any two sides of a triangle, parts of a triangle, you could then determine the other length. So, so for instance, if you knew this length r, <coughs> and I don't know, uh, uh, this length x, and you were looking for y, <coughs> you could do a little bit of algebra and solve for the unknown. What's algebra? Algebra is a way of rearranging this equation. The idea is if you do the same thing to both sides of the equation, it maintains its equality. So in this case, we're looking for y squared and uh, we want to get rid of x squared so that we have y squared by itself so we have to do the same thing and if we're adding these together then one way to get rid of it is to subtract it so r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared so if I say uh, x squared plus y squared minus x squared I have y squared by itself so now I have to write the equation r squared minus x squared is equal to y squared now I really want y by itself, so I do the same thing to both sides of the equation. And how do I get y squared by itself? Well, I, I take the square root of both sides. When I take the square root of y squared, it's simply y. So y would be equal to the square root of r squared minus x squared. And if you were looking for x, you would simply subtract y from both sides of the equation. So simply stated, if you're looking for the length of a board, you know how far apart you want your support, and you know how long your support is, the length of the board would be equal to the square root of the distance to the support squared plus the height of the support squared. If you wanted to know how high you would need to support a board, a certain distance long, you would be able to say that y is equal to the square root of r squared minus x squared. And x is found, x would be equal to the square root of r squared minus y squared. So at this point you should be able to find all three sides of a triangle given any two. Keeping in mind this is a right triangle or a 90 degree triangle.